Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you uh, just a little bit of a continuation on the uh, Matrix track building series that I've been working on. Um, this time I'm going to show you a couple of different tricks that you can do with the Matrix uh, that might not seem so obvious. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Thor. In the Thor I'm going to browse and select a patch Let's take a synth. Let's see, what do I want to use? Okay, let's create a matrix underneath that. And let's just put a random pattern in here. Actually, let's not. Let's hold the shift key down, because I'm going to show you this little trick. If you hold the shift key down and you draw your notes in, you're going to get an even line of notes, which is kind of nice. So we'll just draw a set of notes like that, and we'll run it. Okay, now this trick, what I'm going to show you is how to do the same type of direction as the um, pendulum direction. If you play the pendulum direction, and we'll just put a run on here. Oh, that doesn't sound too good, does it? Um, okay. Let's see if we can do a full. Let's do a random. Okay, so that goes forward through the step sequencer and then it goes back to the through the step sequencer. So it's a pendulum. It goes forward and backward. Um, now let's just turn this off for a second. And we want to recreate that in a matrix, but the matrix has one direction only. It goes forward. If you run it, it's going to go forward. And it's going to look around and go forward again. So one way we can get around this is we can remember that we're on this note. And we can go back to number two. And this note is over there. Okay. So we can go back and it's going to end over here on this note. So let's we've got the forward pattern in here on pattern A1. So let's go to A2 and we're going to take that note over here. We're going to hold our shift key down and we're going to go down to that note. So that's going to give us the backward pattern. Okay, so now all we have to do is select this and click edit automation. Go to our automation track here. And let's draw in a pattern that's one pattern long. Let's take that and copy it over. And we'll select A2. And I'll just zoom in so you can see that. And what that's going to do is that's going to create our pendulum. So let's click the loop so that we'll have the loop running through the pattern. And you'll hear how it sounds. So that's the way that works. If you hold it on loop, so that's the idea of creating a reverse direction or a, or a pendulum direction with the matrix. Another thing we can do, um, let's clear the automation. Let's reset this pattern again. Oops. Another thing we can do, if we um, notice on the matrix, you can't automate the resolution knob. Okay, there's just no way to do that. So one workaround to doing this is we can just create a random pattern in here. Actually, I'll just create a few random patterns like that. <laughs> alter the pattern a little bit so that it's a little bit okay good enough for now um, what we can do is we can take this same pattern I'm gonna right click I'm gonna select uh, copy pattern which is up here and then we're gonna paste the pattern in here and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna paste it you can hit control V to paste it in we're going to do this nine times. And then on B1, we'll so we've got the same pattern on 
nine different um, pattern banks. So what you can do is on the first pattern, A1, set the resolution to one half, on the second one to one quarter, on the third one to one eighth, on the fourth one to one eighth triplet, on the fifth one to one sixteenth, on the sixth to one sixteenth T, on the seventh to one thirty second, on the eighth to one sixty fourth, and on B1, you're going to set it to 128. Okay? So now, if you go in and you edit your automation, you can draw in a pattern that's one bar long. And I'll just show you how that's going to work. We'll copy the pattern again, change this to A2. And now, when you're playing through it, it's going to switch the pattern over here. <laughs> That's how you can automate the uh, resolution knob switches. The other thing you can do, um, if you want to, you can take this. Let's just clear the automation. Uh, set that back to A1. We'll take both devices and we'll combine them. And then in the combinator, you can take the matrix. On rotary one, you can select pattern select, have it at, um, at zero and the top one to be 8. So that is going to make Rotary 1 switch between these pattern banks. Okay, so the lowest is going to be A1, and the highest is going to be B1. So if you want, you can switch it in real time as it's playing through. So let's play. <laughs> downside to doing it this way by putting it on the uh, on the rotary here is that the pattern switches are only going to happen after the patterns gone through so it has to play through and then it's going to go back and switch um, if you're automating it you can move the patterns around freely and you won't have this restriction because you can um, you can create your pattern clips to overlap with each other or to or to be less than a full pattern length and that will switch automatically. So that's just a couple of different things we can do with the matrix and uh, I will be writing about this on my blog. Again I'm Rob and uh, come visit me at reason101.net for more tutorials like this. Thanks a lot for watching.